Hello everyone, welcome to the Easy Accordion Pro plugin video tutorial. Before going to the plugin features, let me show you a few examples of the accordion showcase that can be created using Easy Accordion plugin. First, you can create a beautiful FAQ section like this. Then you can change the title background color and the collapsing icon position. Set a fixed content height without the collapsing icon. You are allowed to customize almost everything for the FAQ section. So this is the customized version of theme 1. So let me give you a quick overview of all the plugin features then I will show you how you can create an accordion showcase in real quick. So let's get started. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard you will see a menu called Easy Accordion. When you click on it, it will take you to the accordion groups page. Here you will find all the accordion groups you have created using this plugin listed in one place. For each accordion group, you will find a title, a short code, and the date it was published. So now let's move on to the all important add new accordion groups. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will find all the features required to create your accordion showcase. First you can type a title for the accordion groups. Then accordion type is set as content. Click add new content to create as many accordion items as you want. So there you will find a title field and an WCWIC editor where you can add text, image, videos, code and shortcuts from other plugins. So let's create a few accordion items first. So you can order the accordion items by simply doing drag and drop like this. If you want to duplicate any accordion item then click on the duplicate icon from here. And if you wish to remove it, then click on the cross icon and say yes. Now publish the shortcode and go to a page where you want to show it and insert the shortcode in a code or shortcode block. Then save the changes and preview it. So this is how the accordion looks initially. And now let's go to the plugin configuration tabs again and here you can see there are a few configuration tabs. So initially you will be in accordion settings. Here you will find accordion layout is set as vertical and theme 1 is selected by default. Choose an activator event from click or mouse over. So when I select mouse over and update the shortcode and reload the page, you will see the accordion is opening on mouse over like this. Select an accordion mode from three different options. So first one is first open, that means the first accordion item will be opened on page load. Then all open, that means all the accordion item will be expanded on page load. And finally all folded, that means all the accordion items will be folded on page load. Enable or disable multiple opening accordions together, that means the accordion items will keep expanded when you move to the next accordion items. Check the box if you want to set a fixed content height for the collapsible accordion. If the content overflow the height you have set, then a scroll bar will be appeared at the right side of the accordion content. So set the maximum height from here. So if I set it to 250 pixel, as you can see, when the content overflow the height you have set, a scroll bar appeared at the right side of the accordion content. So enable or disable the schema markup and the preloader from here. So now let's move on to the display settings. Here you can show or hide the accordion section title. When you show it, you can set a margin bottom from the section title. Show or hide the expand and collapse icon from here. And change the expand and collapse icon size, icon color and the position from left to right. Set a border, border style and border color for the accordion items. Change the title background color. So if I change it to like this and update the preview. Then you can see the title color has been changed. Enable or disable the line break for the paragraph in description and change the accordion description color from here. Set accordion expand and collapse transition time. By default, the value is set to 500 milliseconds. Now let's move on to the typography. Here you can change the accordion title and the accordion description color. So if I change the accordion title font color like this and update the shortcode and reload the page, you can see the title color has been changed. Now let's move on to the settings menu. Here in the advanced settings, you will find the options to enable or disable the font or some CSS and check the box if you want to remove the plugin data when the plugin is deleted from your site. Next one is custom CSS. 
Write down the custom CSS here to modify the plugin default styling. Next one is tools menu. So using the tools menu, you can export and import all the accordion groups you have created using the plugin. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those extra features of the plugin to make your accordion showcase more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.